Yes, we're back. We're back again in Train Sim. We're back again to drive another DMU, and this time on a new line. So grab that guidebook to the Chilton main line, and let's go. So hi there, Steve here, and welcome back to Train Sim. And yes, we're going to drive a DMU, the Class 165, going from Marleybone to Bista Village. In this, the Chiltern main line from Just Trains. And a thanks to Just Trains for uh, letting me bring this to you. A few longer scenarios here. Some of them I think we're going to uh, stream. Some of them I need to buy the um, uh, locos for, because I've just tried to do a couple and realised I haven't got a Class 66 or the JT220. Uh, so I need to buy those, but we'll do that. Um, so yeah, let's go. If you're new to my videos, as always, welcome. There's a new train sim video on the channel every Trains Tuesday. Something from Farming or Flight on Farming and Flight Thursday. Something from Omsi the Bus Simulator on a Monday. Something not sure yet what's going to fill the Wednesday slot. Possibly still Omsi, possibly something new. Maybe a series. We will see. Uh, something from Firm Bus to Coach Simulator on Firm Bus Friday. Something from me live on Twitch on a Saturday night. And if that wasn't enough, something occasionally uh, on a Sunday in the form of Random Sunday. A game that doesn't normally fit my normal sim genre. So plenty of content from me. Please do hit that subscribe button. Um, so yes, we will be coming back to the uh, Great Western main line. We want to interject that uh, maybe on a week by week basis uh, with some normal train sim content. Because I understand that not everyone's got um, the Great Western main line. Um, which is that there, the Great Western Express. But so I thought I'd just put, go with some normal train sim as well, because as fantastic as uh, train sim world is, we can't forget about train sim. Which, um, okay, let's reset track IR. Okay, because we're in standard mode then, we don't get uh, uh, a timetable as such. So pick up, good morning. Please press T to open the doors. We are due off in around a minute. So pick up passengers from London Marleybone platform eight and High Wycombe at 1815. It's currently 1750. So let's have a quick look outside. So we do, as you know, from the channel, like the DMU. And uh, yeah, so we should get going in about a minute. So we better put the reverser in forward. Uh, we'll pop our lights on. All right, drive the next stop, High Wickham. And off we go. Pop some lights on. I'm guessing we've got some. Okay, so we've got a speed limit here of 25 at the moment. And that's a red light, isn't it? Okay, maybe it wasn't. I'm sure that was a red light. I'm pretty sure that was a red light we just passed. Okay, so this is definitely a red light. So I don't think we should have gone through that previous red light somehow. And it's going to go very dark in here. So already I think we failed because we've run a red light. We've got no cab lights on in here, so it's pretty dark. Uh, oh, train coming the other way. So we need to find the cab light. So 
so we'll drop back down again. So Highway Can Platform 2 is our next stop, 27 miles away. Um, so this could be an interesting journey. Um, quite a long journey, it'll take about 50 minutes. But already pulling out the uh, the platform, running a red. I don't think it's going to penalise us for because it's not in career mode, this uh, DLC, it's just in standard mode. Yeah, I'll leave a link to it in the description below in case you want to purchase it from uh, Just Trains. Very easy to install. Purchase it, you get sent the uh, um, the link, and download it. Run the installer, and it installs. Very, very simple. Okay, so when we come out in daylight fully, we need to find the cab light. Oh, now it's gone dark again. So yeah, definitely a bit dark down here. I think the cab light light would be illuminated, wouldn't you? The light switch for the cab light. Because you're going to need it when it's dark. Do you think they'd make it light up as a matter of course? Another train coming in. Let's speed ourselves up a bit. Right, so we can find that cab light. Uh, AWS reset. Logically, it'd be round where we're sat. Ring door, signal, air blower, engine start. What have we got up here? Logically. It'll be up here, wouldn't it? Tail lights, headlights, uh, demisters. Okay, so perhaps we haven't got a a light for the cab. What's this one? Check. Okay, it's gone dark again. Reading light. Uh, okay. Uh, what speed are we doing? 35. Let's speed up a bit. So yeah, fairly well modelled. Yeah, I went to do a couple of other scenarios on here and realised I didn't have the trains. Uh, I haven't got the JT220. I haven't got a Class 66 either, so I couldn't do those. So it's the only thing that actually comes with the map, I think. So the only one I managed to be actually was bring you was this one. OK, we're going to speed up to a 65 coming up down here, then a 75. So we've got 25 miles to go for our stop. Yeah, definitely feeling the love again for Train Sim. So the um, Great Western Express was uh, brilliant, but it's quite nice to get back to a simple control and a nice easy drive. Um, in something like this. So yeah, very, very nice. Oh. There you go. We get a bit more power. To me, the engine note just isn't loud enough though. Probably realistic for what you would hear in here. But I want to hear that uh, diesel noise. We're slowing down. We're about to go downhill towards the uh, 65. We should get a speed increase down here. Okay, 65, so we'll give it the beans. Let's see if we can get up, because we've got a 75 coming up, and then an 85. And then a 100. I don't think this thing's going to do that. We are catching up the um, the tube train, though, on our right. So about to undertake the tube. Oh, just 
we speed up to 75. So keep it on full power. Now the train coming the other way. Okay, not far off the 85 now. By the time we hit 75, we ship it the 85. And then we got 100. Not sure what top speed of these things are, but I'm not sure it's uh, it's going to hit the hundred. All right, so that's the eighty-five. And here it comes. Keep ourselves inside if we can, so we don't get any AWS uh, issues. Oh, there's the train wash back there. Yeah, I think 75 seems to be about our limit. But we're still whipping along, 21 miles to go, which isn't too bad. So where is that cab light? Got to be one, surely. What's that? What's that down there? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I really want to spend some more time in train sim. I do like the idea of doing some of these longer journeys, but uh, some of them be quite good for streams as well. So I think over the coming few weeks, we'll have a bit of this uh, interjected with um, some of the Great Western Express and some other normal um, train sim content as well. So we'll draw a mixture of vehicles. Although, you know, I do like a DMU. Uh, we draw a mixture of trains but yeah plenty of train content to come every train is tuesday um a bit of trucking as well on trucking tuesday so trucking will come out at lunch times normally uh at 12 o'clock and 6 p.m will be trains all right so 77 miles an hour don't think this thing's going to reach a ton we've got 20 miles to go so ETA is at 1815, we're due at 1814. So we're actually going to arrive early, which if that happens, that's never happened to me before on one of these journeys. We've never arrived somewhere early. Oh, now we're getting up to 80. That's not bad. Eighty-one. This will be now where we're going to clock up some speed and then this is where we'll hit a yellow light and a red light. We just don't get the whole signaling thing. Um, single yellow I know is I think, I don't I think the next one could be a red. Double yellows I thought was the next one is a red. But um, when I streamed uh, Train Sim World we had a bit of a conflict of uh, opinion on what that was. So if you know for definite in the UK what the uh, standard signalling practice is, uh, then please leave a comment below and let me know. Green, obviously, I know. Well, we're doing 87 now. We are, quite frankly, whizzing along. So what's our next stop? Pick up passengers from High Wycombe. Uh, then we've got Princess Risborough and then Bicester. So arrival 1840. So 88 miles an hour, we got to go back. Back to the future. Uh, this thing does 88. Which has a bit more noise from the engines. 
a bit more smoke would be quite nice. But we are certainly whipping along. Eighty-eight point six. It's only a sense of speed in the cab, apart from the buffering there. Eighty-eight point five. We're slowing down. Eighteen miles to go. To our first stop. There's got to be a cab light in here, isn't there? I don't know what that thing is. Nothing up there. Uh, it's all fuses and things. Hmm. Oh, tube train going the other way. I didn't realise that tubes come out, you know, everyone thinks that London Underground is underground. Well, what a percentage of it is actually overground. It does seem strange to see London Underground trains over ground. Right, 40 on that track over there. Or for the crossing. Lots of sidings there going past us. A door open. Oh no, I thought a door's open for a second. 88.4, 88.5. Oh, where we are, I guess we're still coming out of London. If that was Marleybone, where we left from. We've only done 10 miles out of London. to guess where that platform was. We're certainly getting a move on. 88 miles an hour. Not quite the uh, steam train doing 88 miles an hour in Back to the Future 3, is it? But I do like a diesel. So yeah, hoping to get a standard mix uh, of games on the channel, but it does mean that OMSI has got to drop back down to uh, one video a week uh, to be on OMSI Monday. Uh, Firm Bus is uh, one video a week. Uh, trains will be one video a week. Flight will be one video a week. Um, and then uh, farming potentially also sometimes on a Thursday. Trucking also sometimes on a Tuesday. Um, which leaves Wednesday. So if OMSI does go for one video a week, I'm thinking about doing a series on something. Um, obviously the uh, first video on Prison Architect uh, went out last Friday. Um, and I really, really like that. That's something I think I could do a series on. Um, which is no game on the channel I've actually got a series. So I think I just play regularly every week uh, and where it carries on from where I left off. Um, because primarily with sim based gaming as I do you don't really get a series of games you know, I've tried it in Euro Truck or I've tried dropping off you know, um, going from one town to another then the next video picking up from there and going somewhere else um, that didn't really work that well although I may come back to doing something like that um, flight, I've got my plan of flying a plane home so doing a um, one, one uh, airport to another airport and flying a plane from uh, Canada back to the UK, that I still want to do. Um, but it'd be nice to do something slightly off the norm and whether uh, something like Prison Architect will be that sort of game, we will see. But it could be that, uh, maybe not now, maybe over Christmas, that we do drop OMSI uh, back to one video a week and then fill the slot with something else. But we'll see. Certainly going to keep trains on the channel now. It was missing for a long time, and I do really, really enjoy it. Certainly with Train Sim World, uh, with the Great Western Express. Uh, that looks really good. But I want to keep going with this as well. So keep some of this uh, on the uh, on the channel. So yeah, interjecting it with a bit of Great Western Express, a bit of normal Train Sim. So we'll go work through some of the scenarios uh, on this and uh, mixed in with some normal Great Western Express stuff as well. So maybe every uh, third week 
we'll jump into this a combination of standard train sim stuff and then great western express so rotate them all but you get to see some new stuff you get to see some old stuff then you get to see some uh, train sim world as well as i'll be streaming some train sim world uh, when i can as well so yeah definitely plenty of content from me Oh, tunnel, well, tunnel bridge type thing. Nine miles to go then, till we get to High Wycombe. Doing 84 miles an hour now. Slow down slightly. I think we're on a slight incline. So imagine this is fairly, I'll say easy for the driver, but if he's got 20 minutes or so just with the uh, the throttle wide open, I know he's got to keep his eye on um, signals and probably listen out for radio. Um, I don't think these things have got a dead man's hand, love there. I think they've got the foot thing down here they've got to press every so often. I could be wrong. Uh, I imagine it's quite a busy uh, route this one as well, Marleybone up to High Wycombe, a fairly short commuter run. So you want to incline now, still doing 87 miles an hour there. Eighty-eight. I'm going to go back to the future again. green yeah so hopefully we get a clear run obviously apart from running that red light at the start which we'll forget about that if that had been in career mode that would have just failed me as it did on the stream uh, that i did the other week my first time looking at the great western express so that was on last tuesday's uh, trains tuesdays went out on youtube yeah where i failed So yeah, go back and watch that if you haven't watched it already. Really enjoyable. Got a lot of help from people in the uh, Google Plus community. Uh, community, by the way, I'll leave a link in the description below for uh, a brilliant and growing community over there on Google Plus of sim gaming fans. Um, yeah, really, really appreciate every single one of them. Right, five miles to go. Still getting green lights. So I'm not sure how well this thing breaks. Hopefully fairly well, because how many cars are we? Uh, three cars? Yeah. So we should break fairly well. So whether we'll get any, um, any yellows or whether we should have a completely full quick run, we will see. Hopefully the speed limit stays this high as well. Interesting to see the fuel level drop. So that should come down a fair bit. So you can guess these things can go a few days on. We've got 1,012 gallons in there. Um, it should use a fair bit of fuel. I would have thought it would have used a gallon a mile maybe. That's a lot of weight this thing's pulling. You know what size uh, engines they've got in them. Must be fairly large. All right, three miles to go. We've still got a thousand twelve gallons. So we'll start backing off uh, at about a mile and a half, I think. Start bringing it back in. We're due at twelve fifteen. 18.15. It says we're going to arrive at 18.15. So that's not bad going. If we get this roughly on time, I'll be very impressed. I 
We're still getting green, so that's good. There's nothing in front of us slow moving. So I just imagine on this sort of line, we're probably the only thing on here. There's been a few trains going the other way. So the frequency of those means there must be something like a couple of minutes uh, ahead of me. Right, we've got a 65 coming up. So we'll bring it back down. Yes, they are fairly frequent coming the other way. We're probably going to get an AWS warning at this signal. The speed limit change, you better bring it back down a little bit more actually. Whoa, that got laggy. There's our warning. We'll start bringing the speed down. Still getting greens, which is good. Very laggy there. Start bringing it down nice and gently. There we go. Slightly bit more, bit too aggressive on the brakes there, I think. Time-wise, not bad, and not bad at all. Probably about thirty seconds late. Whoa! You just stand down the edge of the track. Oh, look at that. Bang on with the parking. That's pretty good. Right on the zero, zero, zero. So wait for the bar to come across then. And then we'll get ourselves moving. That away towards the next stop, which is yeah, Princess Risper 1824. So not too bad then for the next one. And off we go. It's slow again off the mark, isn't it? It's a lot of train to get going, I suppose. There we go, back up to 100% throttle. So, seven miles to go. Princess Risborough, where we should be arriving at 1824.49. We're due in 1825.25. It's getting about 30 seconds late based on the current speed. Hopefully, we get to 60 mile an hour just around when it changes to 80 up here. To 
six. We're going uphill as well. Fifty seven. There we go, perfect through the eighty. So hopefully it'll be another nice clear run all the way to uh, Princess Risborough. Yeah, fairly well model. Not enough smoke for my liking. I like to see a bit more smoke come out of the top, although I know in modern diesels uh, you don't really get a lot of smoke, but the lighting effect is quite good. It does look quite nice. Cabs nicely modelled. So yeah, still picking up a bit of speed, even though we're going uphill, uh, we're still pulling quite nicely. about to come to the 85 we're not really going to hit that at the 85 68. Five miles to go, so not as far between these stops. The ETA 1825.02, so about 15, about 13 seconds late at the moment. I'm going to leave the braking a little bit, uh, well, not so much later. Um, but yeah, it's difficult to judge the braking on this. Um, network rail workers not working as normal. Four point six nine miles to go then. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you'd rather see longer journeys like this, um, or whether you'd rather see a uh, a shorter journey. If you're happy to sit and watch a, a longer journey and hear me waffle on for an hour, then uh, I'm happy to do uh, a longer journey. But I've been trying in the past to keep my videos and journeys to about a twenty minute mark, but maybe chuck in the odd longer one. Um, I think personally that journeys with a bit more, a few more stops, so you've got to stop every five minutes or so, so where they're closer together. So some of the London scenarios would be quite good, um, where you are starting and stopping all the time. Uh, a bit more going on, a bit more starting, stopping, a few more yellow lights, red lights, and stuff. Um, although this does look quite a nice um, run up here. So one of the scenarios is an hour and 10 minutes or 110 minutes, just an hour and 50 minutes, sorry, nearly two hours. Um, that's probably a bit long for a video. So three miles to go, or 3.3 miles to go. Princess Risborough. So you've leveled out now. Still only doing 70. So actually, yeah, top of the hill is just approaching. Two point six miles. Yeah, I do like the way this looks. So this this um, inside looks quite nice as well. Shame we couldn't find that switch for the uh, <laughs> the cab light. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. So we're approaching an 80. So as we start going downhill, that shouldn't be a problem. A single track section, actually other tracks down there. 
Uh, 1.8 miles, so actually I will back off as we approach the 80. So we split off from the main line now. Start applying some brakes. Going downhill could be interesting as well. over a mile away, doing 60 miles an hour. A little bit jittery there. But this should bring us in just about right on braking. Six, yeah. We're speeding up there, so we're going downhill. Okay, we might need to put a bit more <laughs> braking into this, I think. No, we're doing fine. Time-wise, not bad at all as well. Damn it, we're going to overshoot. Okay, next stop, Vista Village. Okay, so we'll call that a fail then. <laughs> I thought the braking was going quite well, and yeah, the passengers aren't really going to get off at uh, Princess Ritzborough then. They've got to wait till Vista now because I slightly overshot the. Oops. Yeah, sorry back there, passengers. They're probably thinking, oh, the train hasn't stopped. I can't really back up, can I? I think the rear carriage would have been okay. Possibly. Oh dear. So we ran a red light when we left um, Marleybone and then we didn't stop at Princess Risborough. Apart from that, let's hopefully we can stop at Bista Village this time. We've got 18 miles to go before we get there. So a 100 mile an hour section coming up. So we should rejoin that main line at some point because we uh, split off from it. So I can't imagine the main line going through Princess Risborough. It's got to be a branch line. So 90 mile, 100 mile an hour section. which you're doing 64. So yeah, bit of a failure so far then this journey. So my last video in, uh, well last stream in uh, Train Sim World uh, ended up being a bit of a failure um, and this so far doing really well and I want to keep trains on the channel every Tuesday so speeding up then oh the train coming the other way You'd be gutted, wouldn't you, if you lived in Princess Risborough? 
1,001 gallons. So we'll use 11 gallons since uh, we last checked. The fuel level is going down. Yeah, you'd be gutted if you lived in Princess Risborough. And you had to go all the way to Vista Village now and get off and wait for the next train and come back down again. I think there'll be a hefty fine um, coming the way of the, uh, the train company. And I don't think the driver would have a job after that. So we've got 15 miles to go. And hopefully we're going to stop at the uh, platform this time. So yeah, I might try some um, some freight a um, couple of weeks' time. Going back and doing something on the Riviera line um, for next week. So to um, beat someone's score on the redoing a journey on the Riviera line. And then we'll come back to some... Uh, train sim world maybe some uh, fsx um the heavy haul and then we'll come back to something on this and then rotate around and maybe chuck in the old extra train sim video and certainly a train sim stream from now and then as well so yeah we'll keep trains on the channel certainly one video a week possibly uh two every few weeks If you're into flight as well as trains, then I'm going to be attending the uh, Flight Sim Show up at RAF Cosford uh, on the 7th of October. So a couple of weeks after this goes live, or a week and a half after this goes live. Um, so we've got a flight sim, flightsimshow.com for tickets, about £9 a ticket, uh, which also gives you free entry into the um, Aircraft Museum there at Cosford. Um, really looking forward to that. Obviously, uh, trains, yeah, you can't really, uh, rather than being late and running red lights, um, can be complicated, certainly when you get to uh, Train Sim World. But things like this, nice, relaxing game to play. Uh, flight, a bit more complicated. So I certainly want to learn a lot more about flight. So attending the show uh, up there at Cosford. So if you're going to the show, please leave a comment below or on, to, on one of the flight videos uh, to let me know that you're attending. Good to see if any people that watch my videos are actually going to the show. There must be some of you out there. A few of us actually from the Google Plus community are attending the show. Um, so if you're a regular watcher of my uh, streams, um, then some of the people from the uh, Saturday night uh, chaos that is uh, ETS2 MP trucking um, are attending the show as well. So Mr. Gazariah. Uh, Tux McBee, uh, Captain Chaos, Rimwoods, uh, and Ed are all um, attending the show. So, we're going to go. Could be a chance to meet up with some of us. And I will certainly be there for the majority of the day. Well, between now and then, we've got uh, another video coming out say the Riviera line next Tuesday and then look back at uh, Train Sim World where there could be uh, some more content as well of that chucked in on some other days. I'm actually getting to a point of running out of days of the week now to get content out there and very conscious about putting uh, too many videos out um, because uh, there's too much to watch then. If I go putting two videos out a day no one's got the time to watch two videos a day from one uh, YouTuber with all the other content I certainly get to that point so hopefully there's something in the in the mix of the videos that I do uh, over the course of the week whether it's uh, buses whether it's trains whether it's flight uh, whether it's coaches whether it's farming whether it's trucking um, I'd like to think that there's at least one category in there that everyone will enjoy um, and so we'll look forward to I certainly enjoy doing them all Right, so we've got nine miles to go then to our final destination of Bista Village. 88 miles an hour. 
We haven't gone back to the future just yet. So it should be a relatively easy run if I manage to stop at the <laughs> at the platform this time. So I'm going to stop nice and early. I'm rather going to risk uh, going to risk being late for actually stopping at the platform. Yeah, really liking this track, really liking this um, this train. The map's pretty good. We will certainly come back and do some more stuff in it. But yeah, try and pick something with a bit more of a stopping service. And if I can get my hands on the Class 66 and the, the, the JT220, we'll certainly look at those as well. Right, seven miles to go. Certainly using a bit of fuel, 995 gallons now. Which is still quite a considerable amount of fuel. I think it'll probably last this thing the rest of its day. I would have thought this sort of train maybe would have done... Well, I've done fairly longish distances between uh, stops on uh, DMUs down in the West Country. Still getting green lights all the way. So apart from that red night, red night, uh, red light failure at the beginning, and the one red light coming out of Marleybone, we've been quite lucky with the lights. Probably the uh, infrequency of trains coming up this way. Well, there's been quite a few coming the other way. Getting a little bit darker now as well, so headlight shadow lining up a bit. Right, five miles to go. Can we stop on time? That's the question. Will we actually stop at the platform? Be a shame to get all this uh, far and then fail right at the end. Four miles to go. Yeah, really impressed with the train, really impressed with the map um, and the track. Really looking forward to doing some more scenarios on this. So look at some freight. I'm going to get hold of the Class 66 um, and then the JT220. We'll look at all those, pick up some scenarios and maybe uh, do a stream on it as well, which will then, of course, if you don't watch the streams, um, then that will then go out as a YouTube video as well. Although generally they're a bit longer, and normally the streams are a couple of hours long. Well, this is going to be uh, over 50 minutes by the time this is finished. Alright, 3.25 miles to go, about a mile and a half. I'm going to start uh, slowing this thing down. Actually, we've got a 40 mile an hour coming up, so let's start doing that now. Uh, big time. So 
Hopefully we get down to 40 by the time we get to it, we should do. Slow it right down. Right, so we got a yellow. Rather juddery yellow, but we got a yellow. So what are we going to get next? Hopefully not a red. Oh, but I wasn't prepared for that. Now I'm going to fail. Damn it. Don't fail me, don't fail me, don't fail me. Right, it's putting the emergency brake. It hasn't actually failed me. I guess I shouldn't have actually kept going, should I? Because that train's going to... both going to be on the same track in a minute, I'm sure. Oh, it's got smoke coming out of that. So yeah, I've ran a couple of red lights. I failed to stop at a station. All in all, pretty good train driver. Point seven nine miles to go. So I'm guessing that light was red because we probably go single track around here then. It's certainly not going to pass me now, is it? Yes, yeah, so I think a light would have gone green once he cleared the signal. I'm hoping it would. I mean, there's nothing else down here now. Because I ran the red. Well, this is a bit literally fenced in. Well, definitely a successful trip, not. Uh, station should be down here. And here it is at last. Well, we made it. If that would have been a career mode, we would have failed that. Or we'd have failed before we left Marleybone. And then failed again at uh, Princess Risborough and failed again back there. And we arrived late to boot. No cars crossing. And here we are. 
is the village. We're hopefully going to stop by the end of the platform. And there we do. We let them all out a minute and a bit late. And people that wanted to get off at Princess Risborough are about to get off here. have then got to wait for the <coughs> next train going back the other way. But yeah, not a bad train. A pretty nice um, track. Uh, map pack. Chilton Main Line do really like it I do like a DMU well done Willie well done so there we go uh, stopped at nought out of eight nought out of destinations well I did stop it doesn't travel 54 miles signal pass at danger twice penalty breaks probably three times Picked up passengers at two out of four platforms. They only failed to stop at one. Hmm. Okay. Um, so there we go then. That journey is done. Um, yeah, please do hit that uh, subscribe button to see more trains content every Trains Tuesday. So next week we're down on the Riviera line uh, driving another DMU. The week after that we could be back to some more uh, train sim world. So there we go. That's it from me. Until the next time then. If you have been, thanks very, very much for watching.